Hi everyone, this is Liz from BiblioWiles, and today I'm going to be talking about Yi Yun Lee's collection of short stories, A Thousand Years of Good Prayers. So, you may be familiar with Yi Yun Lee's name already. She's been published quite a lot in The New Yorker, and as for me, I had read her work in The New Yorker without ever exactly having the urge to go search out her um, collections. That isn't to say I didn't love her work. I really did. I felt so satisfied. But sometimes the satisfaction with a short story to me can seem like the end of the road. I enjoy one short story. It's a complete experience. And I don't generally think, well, I should seek this author out and read the rest of his or her work. And this, I don't know about you guys, but I think this reflects something about me, which is that I usually prefer novels over short story collections because I love the feeling of immersion. I love being able to follow each character on his or her own individual journey. And I like to gobble up my literature. I don't want to read it bit by bit and pause after 10 pages to digest a full story experience. I want to be able to keep going and have a sort of long developed plot line. However, I will say about this collection is that I the last time I remember being so delighted with a collection of short stories was when I read George Saunders' 12th of December. So to me, as someone who prefers novels, this collection is a perfect collection of short stories. Now, it is a little sad at times, but I don't think that it's despairing, which we'll get to in a little bit. So about the author, Yi Yun Li, she has a really interesting backstory. She was born in Beijing and moved to the U.S. to get her Ph.D. in immunology. And it was while she was in the U.S. to earn that degree that she sort of discovered writing. And she says in an interview that her experience in America allowed her to reinvent herself, to see herself as a writer as opposed to a doctor, I suppose, or, you know, any other more typical career path. Um, her stories mostly deal with the life of people in communist China or the life of very re of new immigrants to the U.S. So she's not a writer who's really concerned with a second or third generation Chinese American experience. A lot of writers already deal with that really well. What Yi Yun Li is working on is about either that naive or totally despairing worldview that can come across with living in a repressive country, or the anxiety and the freedom of a new beginning for a Chinese person upon first finding herself or himself in the United States. She writes about a wide range of characters, which is another reason why I really loved her work. She writes about the elderly, the young, the ill, the disabled, and this crossing over from age range and like gender is really moving to me and it also helps me treat each story like it stands on its own as opposed to lumping together multiple short stories that are all narrated by a young female author. My favorite short story in this collection is Extra. It features a character named Granny Lynn who is very lonely in the beginning and moves through these two really important relationships in the course of the story. And the reason I love it is that you can tell Yi Yun Lee feels really tenderly towards her characters even as they suffer. She doesn't seem pleased that Granny Lin lives a life alone and that she ends the story alone. Which brings me to my previous point that these stories are sad while still having a note or a tint of hope or happiness at the end. So even when the stories find the stories characters find themselves in these insurmountable situations, Yi Yun Lee is resisting that really contemporary desire to end each piece with an overwhelming sense of ickiness, as Cher would say from Clueless. About Yi Yun Lee's prose, I think she's an amazing writer. I saw some reviews on Goodreads that I'm sad to say said that her sentences were boring, but I would describe her as having a very unadorned writing style. 
I wouldn't call it stark because it's not like she's not writing like Hemingway or someone who likes to sort of have these quick punching sentences but she does have a sort of clean fresh prose style and then when she decides to really develop a metaphor or show off her poetic abilities it's super impressive because you've been sort of just led through this very clean simple style and then for example in the stories her Simmons she'll extend a point that is so beautiful and appropriate and it's all the more powerful for being one of the few instances like that in her work so if you are thinking about picking this up my best recommendation is first of all that you do this is totally worth your time and second that you resist the same urge that I have to resist don't gobble this up it's not a novel try to read it one or two stories at a time and really reflect on the characters and the world that Yi Yun Lee is building for you and I think you won't be disappointed so once again that's Yi Yun Lee's A Thousand Years of Good Prayers I hope you look it up and I hope you enjoy. Bye.